So apparently Lauren Hill was talking to God when she said, mm, Let me be patient, let me be kind, make me unselfish without being blind. Though I may suffer, I'll envy it not and enjoy what comes Cause he's all that I got and tell him Tell him I need him Tell him I love him And it'll be alright Tell him I wish I had the same delusion That I do when I was two and Didn't think that I could ruin Anything at all, I could never fall I wish I had that same conviction Convinced I never needed fixing Yeah, that girl really knew her business Where did she go? Yeah, she thought she could do anything Thought she could get anywhere Confident she's number one and if nothing, everybody's wrong Used to be calm, now I can't remember How I used to do it, that I was a member Of confidence club, cause that don't last forever I wish I saw what she saw I wish I knew what she knew I love how she just stoned it But sadly I've grown it I know I'm still that girl But I don't know how to show it Like she knew But it's so heavy and I'm feeling low Unlearning all that was wrong for me And I wish somebody would've issued a warning No, they did, but I kept ignoring Didn't wanna have to face it But if I don't, I know it's gonna break me, oh Yeah, she thought she could do anything Thought she could get anywhere Confident she's number one And if nothing, everybody's wrong Used to be calm, now I can't remember how I used to do it That I was a member of confidence club, cause that don't last forever I wish I saw what she saw, I wish I knew what she knew I love how she just don't, but sadly I've grown it Good morning you guys, welcome, welcome back to another vlog So I just got myself ready um, I had to mentally get in a good headspace, so I'm big on mental, taking care of your mental health, I'm big on that, and self-care. I'm big on really taking care of your mental, taking care of your self-care, so yeah, I had to, you know, if it ever comes a point in your life to where if you feeling like nothing or nobody else is encouraging to you, encourage yourself. Just, it might be hard, but you have to encourage yourself. Like, people, let me put something on my lips real quick to I get a fat lip oil. Don't depend on people to give you encouragement. Even the like the closest people to you, sometimes they may not know that you need encouraging or they may have things going on in their own lives that, um, you know, that they don't even, that they are not mentally aware. Like, I know that like for myself, I have slowed down on calling people or texting like i i've went through a transition you guys like you know be grateful if you still have your mom your dad you know what i mean like 
I don't have my mom, my dad, my child, my oldest child passed away. So it's like, <sighs> just be grateful for the things and the people that you have. Even if you have like siblings, cause I still have siblings and stuff, you know. And um, I'm the first one out the siblings that have ever lost a child. Like, not saying like bad miscarriage or anything like, so I'm not taking away from nobody like that. But I'm just saying like a child that's fully grown. So, I just feel like it is important. Like I got little ones, you know, so it's like, not just I have little ones. I have my husband. I still have, you know, people around me every single day that I have to keep going for. Like I have to keep fighting for. So every time I, I wake up, it's two people. <laughs> I feel like living my head and that's the good and that's the bad. So I'll be like, Lord, have your way today. I didn't ask to be to, here today, but you granted me to be here. So I'm thankful, but I just want to get up, encourage myself and get, get it to pushing. I'm the organizer around this house. I'm the, <laughs> y'all, I take care of my own. I'm gonna say that. I'm just gonna say that. And I'm thankful to take to be able to take care of my home. Even like I take breaks here and there, you know, but it's it's all to get myself back together. And um it's hard a lot of days. Like it's just, it's it gets hard. But I feel like I start I'm gonna share this story with y'all, right? Cause y'all didn't know this happened, but myself my husband my kids knew what happened so this was back in so i had just posted my birthday video it was probably like a week or two after that i was <clears throat> okay i got this i got this i got this it was like a week or two after that i was feeling very low and down in spirit so I was laying in my bed. It was nothing wrong. I was laying in my bed. And well, it was clearly something wrong. I was feeling low in spirit and stuff. And just drained, overwhelmed. Everything just felt like it just hit me all at one time. My little one, my five-year-old, mind you, he's he's growing into being verbal. I'ma say that. So he came in the room and he kept like tugging at my hand like you know come here so i'm like okay let me get up and see what he want so he said new news so i was happy that he even said new news because mind you he don't really say what he really wants and stuff i get up um i walk to the sink to get him uh his bowl spoon like get the stuff ready the pot and all that stuff so at that moment while I'm at the sink, I just felt myself rambling. Like, it was like I was rambling and I got, I felt a big, a big sensation of confusion. And I got like very confused. I got very dizzy. And in my mind, I was like, oh snap. You know, I got this water boiling on the stove and then I have my child right here. So I'm like, he wouldn't understand if I'm trying to tell him to move out the way because the water is hot. I don't want him to get burned. So I'm like trying to hurry up and get him out the way because I feel my confusion like it's getting even worse and it was like it was starting to just start. I don't know how to explain it. Like my eyes was open, but it was going dark. So I was, I grabbed my baby to get him out the way away from the stove and stuff just to stumble across and I I just remember myself going down like in the process of me going down I was like oh my god am I finna die am I finna die like what's happening am I finna die I went out I fainted and my daughter was 
literally right in the dining room and I was right in the kitchen and I fainted. She didn't even know I fainted because I couldn't say anything. I couldn't move properly. Like it just all hit me at one time and it's just like, I just remember grabbing my child trying to move him out the way and I just remember just going, it happened so fast. I don't know, like I couldn't have been out no more than a minute because my daughter said, she sent, but I'm always around here playing with the kids. And I'm always on my, like I always carry them around on my back. I'm always on the floor with them crawling and playing and around. So she thought that I was playing with my five-year-old. So she didn't rush in there to see like, you know, why I was on the floor. So um, I had, she said I was, I probably was down like less than a minute from what she thought that I was playing with him. And, um, when I just remember when I, when I like finally gained conscious, I was like, whew. I looked up and my five-year-old was holding my hand. And he was just looking at me like, like he just had his eyes buck, like, are you okay? Like he didn't say it, he just was, he held my hand. It's almost like he held my hand the whole way. And I finally like, when I like shook it off, I was like, what happened? And I called my daughter, I'm like, Shia, what just happened? I said, did you see me? I said, I just fainted, I just fainted. And then she got hysterical. She was like, you fainted? She said, I thought you was playing with Israel. I'm like, no, I just fainted. Y'all, I got up, I felt fine. After I fainted, I felt, when I tell you I felt 100% better, I don't know what happened in that moment but I felt 100% better. And I asked my baby, I said, I said, I, I, I looked at the stove immediately when I noticed I gained conscious. I'm like, I looked at the stove, y'all. I didn't even take the bowl, the spoon, the noodles, the pot. I didn't take anything out. It's just in my mind, I thought I really did when I was a girl. So I looked at the stove, I said, did you turn, did you turn the noodles off? Or how long was I out? Like, I just, it was just like a drilling it, like, what just happened here? And she was like, no, you never turned on the stove because you know the stove beat before the fire come on and stuff. She said, no, you never turned on the stove. I, I didn't have anything together, basically. So I looked at him and I said, do you want new news? I said, are you still, are you hungry? You want new news? And he was like, uh-uh. Like he didn't even want the news, like he did. So I'm like, okay. He clearly got me out of my bed and told me that he wanted news. I do remember that. Because I was upstairs, he brought me downstairs to make them. And for him to say he didn't want them, I still went ahead and made them because mind you, I feel fine now. So I'm like, he want, he, he wants some news because he never said this before. So he wants some news. So let me go ahead and try to make him some news. I made him some noodles and everything. He's, he did not want noodles. So I just feel like I don't know what happened in that moment. But thankfully, I don't know, I guess God worked in mysterious ways. And God probably just got me, got, used my baby to get me up so that my daughter could be aware or just so that I could have some type of movement in my body during that time. Like it was something, I don't know. But from that day forward, I start putting, like I still grieve, of course. I, and, but it's like, I start taking my life a little bit more serious because I have other children. And then I have two little ones, two very little ones. I have a, I have a five and a, well, he just made seven. And my five year old is about to be six, so they about to be six and seven. Right behind each other. But I have these two little children that I have to really be there for. My I have my daughters, I have to still be there for. <clears throat> it get hard. It do. People that I used to talk to probably almost every day, and it's it's nothing towards them because life happens, I understand. But here I am, I just lost a whole child. And, uh, and people that I normally talk to, I don't even, there's no call check up on, hey, how you doing? That kind of stuff can go a long way. But it's like, I'm okay. And I just said from this point on, I have to be okay. I have to be okay. And that's just that. So 
I know that, you know, I know the people that call to check them. I mean, I'm not talking, I'm not speaking about them. I'm just saying, like, it's just, I don't know. It, it makes me feel a certain kind of way, and I can't make it up. But I have to just keep encouraging myself. I have to keep going. And that's part of my story. I mean, it's just, now it's like, what can I do to help myself? Because ain't nobody out here gonna help you. Ain't nobody out here that's gonna really be encouraging to you. What it is that you can do for yourself to make yourself feel better. I start getting up, making my bed, as soon as I get out the bed, because I like a made up bed. And once my bed is made up, I'm not getting back in it. I go for a walk, I bike ride, you know, especially like when the kids was at school and I was just here by myself. It's just like, okay, get up and start moving around. Start back pampering myself, start back loving on myself. And once I start doing that and then start pouring into my household, I feel a lot better. Like I feel so much better when I do that. Like I take care of myself first. Once I take care of myself, I'm not worried about whoever else not doing. My mom will be right here in my home. She, she, her room will be that guest room. Like hands down, like I wouldn't have to ask my mama to do it. She wouldn't have to do. She wouldn't have to lift the hand. Okay, a lot of the stuff that I missed out doing with my mom, I make sure I do it with my girls. Like my all my kids, but you know. I'm gonna get off the kids because I don't wanna get emotional. But yeah, I just try to pour into them, you know, on a lot of stuff that I feel like I missed out on. Was that a lot? <laughs> I'm sorry if it was, but yeah. I am about to go for a walk, a peaceful walk. And I don't know if my daughter gonna come with me. She said she wanted to go with me, but I think that they just really be trying to watch after me. Like, my daughters, they just be like extra, you know, calling and texting all the time. Like, or just coming in my room, lamping. Like, it's okay, I'm, I appreciate that. Because my kids, I love my kids. I love my kiddos. So I know if don't nobody else do it, God send them kids to come give me encouragement to come move me in a certain kind of way, like my kids could get me up and going. Like my son made me feel like I could soar the world. Ma, you get it. Ma, you get it. That's what he always say. Ma, you get it. And then uh, he he thought that I used to just like record, just to be recording. But when he found out I had YouTube, uh, he he just he was like, okay, every time we together, you finna, but. We enjoyed each other so much. I I didn't always record a lot of good times, like cause we was enjoying each other so much. But a lot of times I did record. Like I got him on a couple home update videos and stuff. So he was here helping me fix up the house. He knew exactly how we were uh, going to do this bathroom because he was with us when we was buying the stuff. Like you know, so this. This, my home, <laughs> I was gonna say this home. My home really holds, you know how a home, a home holds memories, laughter, and like just moments, like certain stuff I feel like I don't wanna move, take down because I knew he was a part of that. Like in the powder room, him and my husband, like they hung up the, uh, the art on the wall in the powder room. Like in my boys' room, I painted the wall with the eyes on there. Like he was here then, he was in the video then. Uh, just different moments. Like, I just thank God for it. He, he gave me the best years. He gave me the best years of his life and for the rest of my life of what I could remember. I'm not supposed to have my shoes on up here, but I do, so. But yeah, that's it for this portion of the video. Let me show y'all a OOTD. Let's have this. On. I didn't even know that this thing had this little pocket right here. I have my Nike gym shoes on. Someone must have broken my heart, like really torn it apart in another life. 
in another life Someone must have really fucked me up Like caused my heart to stop in another life In another life Otherwise I don't know why I keep coming back to this Keep fighting all of it Don't trust that there's love to get I don't know why I just can't believe in it Like somehow I can't commit Guess I have to admit Yeah, I got an issue with love Yeah, I got an issue with trust Really better open it up Oh, yeah, I got an issue with love Yeah, I got an issue with trust Worry that it won't be enough Someone must have made me feel bad but who I was and what I had to give Oh Someone must have Okay, so y'all know I had her style Something like this I'm just gonna tell y'all the plans, right? <laughs> Let's make this look a little bit More appealing, okay? Uh, the plans that I'm about to do with this Y'all see that? So I'm about to straighten this unit out I'm going to braid her up and then I'm going to my boiling hot water and dip in there. And then I'm gonna have to wait a little bit for her to dry. I'm gonna naturally let, let it dry. Crossing my fingers that it's gonna look so cute. This is not that long, so hopefully it turned out all right. So, I'll... and that's so crazy because it could look so stiff and as soon as you brush it out, it's like, bouncy again like how in the world does it do that like for real i just posted a video on tiktok the other day basically a uh i did this one. my Instagram I mean that's not my Instagram that's my TikTok this is my business page on uh, TikTok as well you can see it yeah that's my business page on TikTok this is my Instagram here this is my business page on Instagram I'm creating content so that I can be like consistent over there on those channels. So I'm gonna create some content on this unit. And once I do that, I'm gonna post it on my shorts, my TikTok, my Instagram, and then uh, y'all gonna get it first though. Y'all gonna get it first. Y'all get it first, everybody else gonna get it second, okay? Um, that I normally be active on, I'm, more, I'm most active on YouTube and I feel like I get my most support from YouTube like really interacting with people um, on here and like you know building a, a sisterhood relationship type of thing so I just feel like this is where I'm gonna be like posting stuff first and even if I don't post like a full video like if y'all don't get the full video first, y'all will get the YouTube short first. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna turn some music on for y'all. I'm gonna let y'all watch me do. Um, Get out the way, who got a watch, who got the time, I'm raising the clock, even in my feelings, grind don't stop, got big dreams, want big rocks, I got plans, who got talk, heard it's real cheap, but it's really cold house, I'm trying to get these ends, building bios with my friends, I'm about handling my business, no time for stress over bullshit, you think success is an option, I'm trying to get this shit popping like, woo, big moves, my rules, Y'all heavy on the tweeting I'll disappear a whole season like woo Who said they looking for me? I'ma make you wait for it Spend a few racks on a shopping spree Yeah, I'ma make you pay for it Tell them give it to me when I want it, please Wait tight on I leg for it Count down for me 12, 11, 10, 9 Eat that, I'ma make you wait for it 
on my time Yeah, I'ma make you pay for it On my time My time, my time My time, my time Order, order in the court Me first, you short On my time, been off yours Boss, bitches to the floor It's my time was for us, you do the math, shit don't add up, even on my worst day, down on my luck, I got the sauce, I'ma always come up, I tried it your way, that was a dub, I'm taking the wheel now, cause I trust me, I'ma go get these millions, hoes still hoping to wish it. you always had me waiting, and I'm about fresh out of patience, this time we switching positions, now you under my submission, like, Woo. my rules, big moves. On the tweeting, I'll disappear a whole season. Like, whoa. who said they looking for me? I'ma make you wait for it. Spend a few racks on a shopping spree. Okay, yeah, I'ma like pay for it. I did it. it. When I want it. Nobody in the one last. I'm doing it. Okay. She told me I look like Ice Cube, little sister. Don't she look like Ice Cube? This is on. You better not run up on me. If you do, then I'ma trip out. Trip out. Trip out. Mm -hmm. Chubel, 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 Chubel. Mm -hmm. All I had to do it. <laughs> I got daughters that not do hair. She did her own butter. I ain't even see. I ain't even show them how your hair turned out when you was asking me to part it. You had a picture of it with the bows and stuff. Oh, yeah, my hair was fat. Can you go get it? I kept it in for five days, though, but it's okay. Yeah, because she, she do her own hair, so. Take it out fast. Yeah, she take it down fast. Put it up. I said, get your phone so you can show them a picture of how you did your hair. Invest in your kids. Invest in your kids. This is my hair. They can't see that. I'm going to show y'all another picture, too. That's a picture? Why you got to hold it? Cause it's oh, today. Y'all was fresh. Pretty little chocolate thing. I'm black. She bright. You be saying like I'm light skin. You is almost light skin. Good. No, I'm not. You caramel. Light caramel. Yes, light card. If I pinch you, you're gonna turn red. If I touch you, you're gonna turn red. <laughs> I said, hey, stink. You call his feet stink. I'm not calling you stinky. You're not a stinky I'm little thing. I'm gonna touch cop. Okay, give me a kiss. I'm gonna touch it Okay. I'm gonna go touch it cop. Okay. I'm gonna go touch it cop. You go touch it cop? I go Chuchika. I don't know what that is. I go Chuchika. Tell me what he's talking about. I don't know what he's saying. Hey y'all. So this is how this is how the unit came out. My braids kept coming down, so I couldn't even like I had to tie rubber bands on the end of it. I don't like doing that because it makes the ends look partially like straight. It won't have that really bent at the end. Let me try to put this head on it. Okay, so this is just, I'm about to go to the uh, post office or like run a little errands because I'm not gonna wear this anymore. It's not giving, I guess. It's not doing what I needed to do. It, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to turn out. I was thinking more so, more like Merc. I was thinking more so, more curly and like not as poofy. Oh, and if I haven't introduced myself, I'm beautiful. I'm a content creator. I create video beauty, self care. I'm a mom, of course. I'm a wife, of course. So here and there, I may involve my family. But this here, that this platform that I'm on is basically for women and me being my authentic self and being relatable, transparent as much as I can to you guys. I have a five-year-old that has autism and 
I'm a mom that also is in grievement. So because my oldest child passed away. I know that I'm not the only one out here that um, basically just, I mean, life happens. And I know that I'm not the only one out here. So I guess this is like my therapeutic time and then also like a resource for me to just reach out to other women that feel like they are alone or they going through certain um and they going through certain situations in their life that they feel no one else can relate to when my little one was uh when my little one was diagnosed with autism i heard like a lot of it was a lot of family and friends that was like oh the doctors don't know what they're talking about oh don't listen to the doctors x y and z to me it wasn't the doctors it was me having children before this child and I paid close attention to my children and I knew at an early age it was some delay and I wanted to get help right away so I didn't know any family members or and, and come to find out I do have family members that have children that are autism but I didn't know if you don't reach out to your family like we don't stay in the same city and state so to, to know that you know a family member of mine was going through the same thing so this is my my form of me just not just reaching out but giving you guys the experience that i learned from my kids my seven year old he didn't quite understand and it was hard for me to like really explain to him so now as it like i don't know if it's other women out there that's that has two toddlers, one with special need and the other one without. So my child without the special need, he always look at it like, why do, okay, I'm gonna put their names on it. Isaiah always look at Israel like, why is Israel getting away with X, Y, Z? But when I do it, you know, I'm getting disciplined for it. And I don't, I, I don't like quote them like, or anything like that, I feel like, I talk to my children. They're not bad kids anyway, but I talk to them like a lot. Like, I talk to them a lot. I feel like com communication is key, especially with your children. So, I started even recently, they're a little older. Um, Israel is just starting to be verbal, and now he's in the process of being like potty trained. And so the next step is being potty trained in public. Like it's just certain steps that I know as a parent I have to take. But back to what I was saying is that for me to help Isaiah understand Israel more, I, I told Isaiah, I said, let's do this. I said, let's do this practice so that, you know, we can understand Israel better. And I told Isaiah, I said, anytime you have to say something to me, cover your mouth and try to say it. Try try your best to say it. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, like that. So he started like laughing like, you know, what is that going to do? So I didn't tell him just yet, but I just told him, let's just do it. So every time Isaiah wanted some chips. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm like, what? And then he would, mm -hmm. and then he, you know, he gets frustrated and mad. And then he said, I don't want to talk like that anymore because you don't understand me. And I was like, ha. Ah. I said, see? And I, that's when I brought Israel in the room. And I said, that's exactly how Israel feel. So we can't get frustrated. We can't overlook what he's trying to say and what he's trying to do. Let's help him. And so now Isaiah is being a great big brother. And every time Israel want or needs something, it's like instead of, you know, him blowing it off or saying like he don't understand, he's getting frustrated. 
he's like, okay, brother, come on. Like he hold his hand, like he, he takes them wherever he want to go. They go to the refrigerator, Israel points to the juice. Like, and he would tell me like, Ma, Israel said he wants some juice. Israel said he wants some milk. So now it's like a happy kind of moment. And also like Israel has been going to therapy lately and he's been trying to talk so much more like this new therapy i don't know what they doing but it's good because even on saturdays and sundays my baby wakes up in the morning like in the morning he have a routine and it's like we have to stay on that routine anything twisted off that routine is gonna go down okay <laughs> So we have like a little routine that we do in the morning. Like at night he take his bath and everything and he prep himself for the next morning. So when we wake up in the morning, it's brush your teeth. And he he's he learned this he learned the word. I wash my face. So he said he he tell me in the morning, I wash my face. I said, Good, you wash your face. And he'll take his little toothbrush and he'll brush his teeth. He's happy. He's he don't like to eat right away. But he likes milk as soon as he wake up. So it's like I give him his milk. I send his little lunchable or whatever. Not lunchable. But his uh, breakfast or his lunch to school with him. Because he don't. he's not going to eat like as soon as he wakes up. And um, yeah. So I just. If you're a parent out there and you have a child with autism, just stay encouraged. Um, it gets better with time because, and then it's like every step I'm learning something different about my baby. Like every step I'm learning something different and I'm enjoying it. I thank God that I am a patient person and I see the need of my child instead of blowing it off. I um, I mean, that's my baby, and I gotta. I mean, it's just you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. And if I stay quiet about it, the next mom may stay quiet about it. The next mom may stay quiet and just, you know. Feel like she's suffering in silence not technically being silenced but not knowing who else is out there that's going through the same thing stay encouraged so yeah that's um that's about it like my channel basically is based around my lifestyle and of course i'm a mom so i feel like what works for me right now is doing the sunday reset videos because i have to keep my house in order wednesdays i could i could just we could be relatable to each other sundays i could do my reset i have something i want to share with y'all but i'm just gonna wait because i'm so excited i'm thank i'm thankful for opportunities that's what I'm gonna say. I'm thankful for, and yeah, I just completely stopped talking about this here. <laughs> but yeah, if 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 you're having a good or bad day, I pray, I pray that God shine His face upon you. I pray blessings over you and your entire family. Because I understand the God that I serve. I don't have to ask just for blessings for me and my family. I can ask for blessings for you and your family too. And then he pour into you so that you can continue to pour into your family. That you will be encouraged regardless who else out there is or isn't. You are encouraged. So we got this. Okay. We got this. This is my outreach. This is my self time. This is my self care. Even on Sundays when I'm resetting my home, that's for me because so I wrote Israel therapy staff. I said, "Hey, how are you? Hope all is well." I just was checking up on my little one because I'm that type of parent. I communicate. It don't matter email, text, whatever. 
If you got my child, I need to know what's up. And basically, she said, your, your little guy is doing well. He seems to be more comfortable in the classroom. He's been doing better with sitting at his desk and has been slowly adjusting to the work and then play schedule. Transition to different activities it can be difficult for Israel, but we also realize they'll know for him and that he will just adjust like over time. It's been fun to see a little more of his personality each day, watch him explore new environment and to hear him talk about animals. You should be proud of your little one because we are. Thank you again for reaching out. I hope you have a great night. So I text her back and I, I text her this morning and I told her, I said, this makes me so happy and I'm so proud of him. He's been talking so much more lately than ever. I don't quite understand, but I'm just thankful that he's trying so hard. Thank you so much for the update. I can tell he really loves school because on the weekends, <laughs> mornings, he always sits on the couch where we normally wait for him to go. I'm excited to see how much more he wants to learn and the things he want to talk about. And she replied back, this makes me so happy. I just read this to my staff and it made them all so happy. Messages like this truly means the world to us and give us the drive to work harder. I'm glad you are seeing him being more verbal at home and that and that he enjoys school. Have a wonderful day. So we, I would say therapy when people don't quite understand, but I also use the word school so that, especially like in front of him, I use school so that he can feel a part with my other children. Like I would ask, how was school today? I wanna ask him, how was therapy today? You know what I mean? So, you know, even at the school therapy, he's learning ABCs, shapes, sizes, uh, you know, about animals, and they are showing him different things. They're just opening his mind up to different environments and doing different things. So, I'm thankful for that. I, I feel like, you know, a lot of times, I have to think about this. I have my church, I have my child like all day, every day. They have to come to work, whether they have special need children or not. They have to come to work and tend to my special need child. Like, how are you doing? You know, so it's it's almost like I know. You know, and, and they they do the same because they just like, wait, I'm just here for a couple hours. You got him all day. And it's like, so each party could feel overwhelmed because mind you, yeah, I have him all day, but I have one special nature child all day. She probably have five or seven all day. So it's like, and it's not just one person. It is uh, quite a few of them because he have like OT, speech so he have a lot of therapies going on and they basically breaks it up throughout the day so each uh, teacher is doing something different with him I just wanted to I just wanted to like you know see how she were doing like make sure let her know that I appreciate her like cuz that's like the main one I don't um, that's like the main one that I talks to. So, and she's like the main one that he's around. So it's like, I have communication with her. Of course, I would love communication with the other ones. Um, I, I don't know, I think they on there, I'm not sure. I have to look. I got all off into that, but I just, it just went there. And yeah, I'm just gonna start cleaning up you guys. And I'm gonna end this video here. End of this video, I put like a little self care in there for you guys. So, yeah. So, just enjoy your day, your Wednesday. Have a blessed one. I love you. I thank you. I appreciate you. And yeah, I'm gonna just continue to grow my platform. And I'm thankful that you're here. So, if you wanna support your girl, don't leave without subscribing. Alright, 
take care you guys see you in the next video Great.